Today we're gonna to be making an exquisite dish for fall, a pumpkin and goat cheese keto-friendly ravioli with a brown butter sage sauce. Earlier in the year, Sarah and I made a video where we tried to make keto-friendly raviolis, and we saw this hack on TikTok, and we were able to make some delicious raviolis with something that you can get at the grocery store that acts as a shell, like a ravioli does, it's provolone cheese. So here we have the finest provolone cheese, Sargento, and we are going to be making a fall-themed ravioli. One of my favorite dishes for fall before I was keto was butternut squash ravioli. I would buy it pre-made at the store, drizzle some butter on it, and just have it. Butternut squash is better than other things, but honestly, it's pretty high carb. We have used butternut squash mixed in with cauliflower to make a really amazing sweet potato casserole, but this time we've decided to go with a cousin of the butternut squash, which is pumpkin. And we thought, why not give you a pumpkin recipe early before you get sick of it? You're gonna need one can of pumpkin puree. Do not get pumpkin pie filling. It does look the same, but the pumpkin pie filling has sugar and stuff in it, so don't get that. We are using chopped walnuts that we have lightly toasted in a pan just to get those aromatics going. 10 leaves of sage, a shallot also known as a shallot to the layman, minced and in some olive oil on the pan, which is cooking right now. The process seems pretty straightforward. We have melted a stick of butter and then taken out the milk solids to have clarified butter. We threw in 10 sage leaves to infuse the butter with sage flavor, but you don't want to eat that because it would be very, very strong. After I've taken out the sage leaves, I've turned off the heat. I had about half a teaspoon of garlic powder because I really like garlic and everything. We have our shallots here. We're gonna add in half of the can of pumpkin, mix it all together. I added in a splash of apple cider vinegar, probably like a tablespoon, and I stirred that in. Now I'm gonna add one fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and that's gonna give it that fall vibe. I also added in some salt and some pepper. Stir this and make sure it's combined fully, then we're gonna take it off the heat. We're gonna dump it into a bowl and we're going to mix in some goat cheese. I'm really excited about that. We're not gonna over combine it. I like the idea that some like big chunks of goat cheese might be in there to melt in your mouth. I'm gonna try it. Hmm. Very good. Okay, now it's time to prepare our keto raviolis, which is pretty much Sargento's provolones, which are little circles here. I have them on some parchment paper, and we're gonna be putting them in the oven at 350 degrees for about three minutes, but we're gonna keep an eye on it because they kind of turn pretty fast. You don't want them to burn, so your oven might be a little bit different, so keep an eye on them. Stay close to your oven. So after we fill them and seal them, we're gonna put them back in the oven just to cook them a little bit longer. Do as I say, not as I do. I walked away to get a drink and they're already been in there for too long. So we're gonna take them out and let them sit and like solidify a little bit. I think they're okay. Hey. Okay, so I'm gonna take the parchment paper. Are you really close? Okay. I'm gonna take the parchment paper and I'm gonna slide it onto my countertop. It's gonna be a little cooler and it's gonna to help to solidify the cheese a little bit before we start filling them and sealing them. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm gonna take half a tablespoon of the filling and I'm going to fill my raviolis. And I'm gonna take the cheese, and I'm gonna fold it over and I'm gonna take my finger and kind of seal it. And then I'm going to take my raviolis and put them back on the sheet pan and put them in the oven just for another minute to warm them through. We're gonna plate them up and try them. So here we have our pumpkin ravioli with the sage brown butter sauce. Mm. We've topped it with some um, toasted walnuts and some Parmesan cheese, and I'm really excited to try it. Gotta put it down, so. We need to get a tasting table set up, you know? We're just working with what we have. True. There's no graceful way to do this, really. I'm just gonna shove it in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're like, mmm. Mm. That brown butter sauce really elevated this dish. It tastes like fall to me, mm -hmm. fall vibes. The walnuts add a little texture to it. I would say it's kind of pale looking without that sage leaves. You don't want to eat the sage leaves. It's, they're just for garnish. Some people fry sage leaves. Oh, really? Um, like chiffonade it and fry it. Don't eat raw sage leaves. They're kind of overpowering. I'm loving the walnut yeah. aspect. It's got like this little crunchiness to it. It's absolutely delicious. And you know what? I was worried about creating this recipe and tweaking it from other recipes because I felt like it's really easy to go sweet. And I definitely wanted it to be a savory dish. Mm -hmm. And I think that that has been accomplished. I also think it's a very 
very sophisticated palette. Oh, it's delicious. I'm trying to use pumpkin because there's not many carbs in it. Right. You know, instead of butternut squash. Butternut squash. Sarah even tried to grow her own pumpkin, but I did. Unsuccessful. No, I did. I had pumpkin. What do you mean? It was more ornamental type of fun. Fairy tale pumpkin. Oh, one tip though we would say is that you gotta make them fast once they are um, on the granite or on the cooling surface because they will solidify and be hard to kind of like manipulate, manipulate and seal. So if they do become too um, firm, throw them back in the oven for like 30 more seconds so you can get them warm enough to be pliable again. Yeah, this type of provolone, maybe it's this Sargento one, it's not very smelly. Mm -hmm. Some provolones can be a little bit overwhelming. This one, I don't smell at all when I cook it. We will put this recipe on the website, ketotwins.com. I think that you would go to an Italian restaurant and have four or five of these raviolis for 20 bucks a plate, easily. If you like this video, please give it a like. It does help us out with the YouTube algorithm so that more people will see our videos. And don't forget to subscribe for more keto lifestyle content. And if you guys wanna see the other video where we use this hack to make a sausage filled ravioli, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And we, and we are, are the Keto, Keto Twins, twins signing, signing out. out.